Alright, uh, so hello everyone. So I bought a Yale smart lock and I installed the smart lock in my shed actually. Um, now, certainly there are a lot of benefits of buying a smart lock, right? Uh, meaning you don't have to carry a key anymore. You just need to type in some code you get in. Uh, you can provide people remote access to them, control uh, who has access, can easily change code, if, give different people different codes. Uh, but then the main reason I bought a smart lock is for the automatic unlock feature. Uh, now, what do you mean by automatically unlock? That means uh, uh, as long as you carry the phone in your pocket, um, the, and then when you come in from outside and getting very close to the door, uh, the lock is supposed to automatically unlock it for you so that you don't have to type in the key anymore or you don't need to um, take out your phone and uh, use the app and push some button to unlock it. It just take one step out of it. Uh, that's what they mean by automatic unlock feature. So I really like this feature um, when looking for a smart lock for the shed because um, I really want it to be convenient so that I may carry things to the shed. I don't have to worry about messing up with the key or typing in some code anymore. Um, so after I installed it and then I did a lot of experiment and tried to understand how to use this feature and how this feature works. Uh, so at this point, I think I have very good understanding on what this feature is and how it works and what it's designed for. Um, so the conclusion I have is uh, I don't think it works for my situation and um, I think its application is kind of limited. So I want to make this video to explain um, how, what this feature is because I don't think these companies um, explain it uh, very well at all, at all to us so that um, you can understand this feature and to see whether it fits your need or not. Uh, now. A specific lie about is Yale. Um, so the inside of Yale, there is a communication module from August. Uh, and then August, of course, it's another company that makes smart lock. And uh, uh, one big selling feature of August lock is, again, uh, automatic unlock feature. So um, I think what I'm explaining here applies for both Yale and August. Uh, maybe also for other brand. Um, I'm not really 100% sure. So this is how this automatic unlock feature works. So first of all, I'm going to just use this whiteboard, whiteboard here. So for example here, um, say if this is my house, I'm going to use M in here. And then say this is my uh, next door neighbor, I'm going to use N. And uh, this is another my next door neighbor, that's N in there. And then I have a shed, small shed in my backyard, I'll call it S. Um, so I have Wi-Fi in my house, which covers a pretty big area. So um, I'm gonna just going to say this is probably how big my Wi-Fi is covering. In reality, my Wi-Fi my wi is probably covering even larger than this circle, but then I'm just going to use this circle for illustration purpose. Um, so um, how it works is, uh, of course, you have to download their app and carry your cell phone with you all the time. And then in the app, there are two modes. One is a home mode, another is away mode. Um, what it used to decide which mode it is, is it used both GPS and also your Wi-Fi to decide whether you are home or not. In my experience, I feel like they use more of Wi-Fi instead of GPS. So what it does is uh, if your cell phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi network, uh, the app um, will know you're at home and, and the app will uh, become into the home mode. So here we'll call it uh, H in here. And then if your cell phone goes out of your home Wi-Fi network, then um, the app knows you're away from home and uh, we'll, it's going to change into a away mode. So we're just going to call as um, um, 
A in here. So um, this, is, this is how the automatic unlocking feature works. So every time you have to carry your phone from outside of the circle to inside of the circle, basically you carry your phone um, when you're coming to your house and then as soon as the app is switching from away mode to home mode, it will start to scan for the smart lock. It, because the smart lock uses uh, Bluetooth to communicate. So as soon as you switch mode from away to home, um, the app will start to scan the smart lock. And because of Bluetooth technology, it's not gonna communicate for too far. So it will start to scan, and then it will probably have to be um, around like 10 foot away um, from uh, this smart lock before your app start to communicate to the lock. So, um, so it will start to scan right after you step into zone, and then it will establish communication once you are um, near the smart lock. So at this point, it still won't unlock your lock because you are still fairly away from your smart lock. So after it establishes the communication, it will wait for you to get closer. So probably after you get into like a two to three foot away, then the app will automatically unlock the smart lock for you so that you can get into the door. Um, so this is how the automatic unlocking feature works. Um, the, the, what triggers the scanning is you always have to step from outside to inside the app, need to switch from away mode to home mode for it to trigger the scanning. And then I think after it scans for maybe like 10 to 20 minutes, uh, if it's not finding any smart lock, it's just gonna time out. So this is how this feature works. Um, so if you are staying at home the entire time, and then your app is staying at home mode, uh, it's not gonna trigger anything. It's not gonna automatically unlock your lock. So this is how it works. So, I mean, there's, um, I would say there's nothing wrong with this design. This is probably how most people come home, right? You, you come home from outside to inside, you want to automatically uh, unlock your door, you need to come in. And then besides, um, I, I think technology-wise, I don't think your phone can just constantly scanning for your Bluetooth lock 24-7. Um, I think that's just gonna take too much uh, energy and I don't even think the cell phone company allow an app doing that. So it got to have a trigger and then what trigger is, is from outside to inside. So this may work for us, for other people, but then um, I don't think it works for me because think about it, my smart lock is at my shed. So in most of situation, I'm just gonna be staying at home uh, most of the time while my app is at the home mode. And then if um, I decide to go to my backyard and go to my shed, then my, my app stays at home mode. It's not gonna uh, do any switch from away mode to, to home mode. So because of that, it's not gonna trigger any scanning. It's not even gonna try to communi automatically communicate to smart lock and unlock for me. So that's why I realized that um, this design is not gonna work for me. Um, so you know this kind of uh, lever lock is uh, very popular. Another uh, popular application of this lock is in the garage door or your side door. A lot of people have say in your garage, um, say if your garage is coming in this way, you have a, maybe a door here. That's another popular application for this. Um, it's probably gonna, it's probably not gonna work either for that situation because think about this, uh, most people, uh, when you need to use your side door is probably when say you're uh, working in your backyard uh, while you're connected to your home network and then certainly your phone, your app gonna stay at home mode. And then since you, you are not switching from away mode to home mode, 
then uh, the net the app never gonna try to uh, trigger the scanning and it will never try to unlock the door for you so uh, I guess um, this kind of lever lock the most common application is for garage door in the shed um, and then <clears throat> I don't think the automatic unlock feature gonna work for most of situation I, I guess the only situation it's gonna work is say you come home and then you directly go to your shed you want to grab something so that's probably the only situation that this automatic unlocking feature gonna work um so another issue with this feature is um i just realized this is the issue what i'm talking is say even if you decide to use this feature as it designed for meaning um, you decide to put this on the automatic unlock feature in your front door uh, in this situation most likely you're going to have a deadbolt in there and then you decided to buy a smart lock with automatic uh, unlock feature um, so and then I guess it may work if you just come outside from inside you unlock your door you come in right but then think about it, a lot of people in most of the situation don't come in from front door, right? Most people come in, you, you drive home, you come in directly actually to your garage door. Then here's what happens. You drive in from here to here, then your phone, the app on your phone automatically switch from away mode to home mode. And then the app will start to scan uh, looking for the smart lock um, with auto unlock feature in your front door, right? And then when you are driving maybe around here, then your app start to establish communication to the front door. And however, you are not using front door, you are actually going to your garage. And then depending on the structure of your house, maybe when you are here, or maybe when you come in, when you are getting closer to the, the lock, or when you are here, when you are getting close enough to the door, the door will automatically think you are getting close to the door, it will automatically unlock it for you without you even knowing that. So, because I don't think the app knows whether you are inside the house or outside the house. I think all it knows is you are getting very close to the door even though you are inside the house. Now this become actually dangerous, I feel like, because think about it, you are not even using a front door. You thought your front, front door was locked. You come in from a side door, you're doing other things, but then suddenly, without you even knowing that, your front door is unlocked. Well, of course, um, usually this kind of uh, smart lock, you can put an automatic locking feature in there. Uh, you can program to say, if the door is unlocked after uh, five minutes or one minute without any activity, that's locked automatically. Uh, certainly you can do that, but then that still feel kind of dangerous because what if someone is out there and you don't want that person to come in, but then your app decided to unlock the door for you without you even knowing that. So um, I guess after doing a lot of experiment and after have a very good understanding on how this uh, feature works uh, my personally I don't think I like this feature uh, I, I definitely not gonna put it on my front door and then I'm kind of deciding now whether I still need it on my shed and probably won't so um, so anyway um, so I hope this video helped you to understand how automatic unlocking feature works and so that you can decide whether it fits your need or not. I mean, there's uh, nothing wrong with this design, I would say. It's uh, not the issue with the quality of the product. I mean, the, the product is behaving as what exactly it is designed for, but then I think the way it designed in this way, there's some restriction with technology in there. They have to do this. So whether you feel like this is what you need or not, you got to make your own decision.
but then I just hope that this video help you to understand it. Alright, thank you for watching my video and if you find my video helpful, please subscribe to my channel.